Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation I'm going to give a basic example involving an application of the chain rule for differentiation. And in particular we're going to compute a couple of partial derivatives uh, via the chain rule and then we're going to show that um, these derivatives satisfy a certain equation known as a partial differential equation. Okay, so um, you would see this kind of example in, say, a Calculus 2 type course. Um, so let, let, let me um, share my screen with you and we can have a look at what this example is. Now, firstly, the thing you'll see about um, this screen share is that the font is massive. Okay. This presentation is also a little bit of an experiment with larger font. Um, I'm trying to get my presentations to be very um, readable on mobile devices. So uh, if you could give me some feedback, if you're watching on your phone or on your tablet or whatever, I I'd really, really appreciate it because I I've sort of noticed that um, with the smaller font, it's not that great on mobile devices. Okay, so let's have a look at the example we're going to look at. Let f be a differentiable function and consider big F defined in the following way. It's like a function of a function. Now, little f here is differentiable. We don't know what it is, but we just know it's differentiable. I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. All right, show that big F satisfies the partial differential equation given down here. Okay. Actually, I can do that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, we don't know what little f is. All we know is that it's differentiable. Now, if a function is differentiable, then we can apply the chain rule to it. So what do we mean when we say differentiable? Well, um, it's like a prelude to using the chain rule in this example, but think of a function f that has continuous partial derivatives. Those kinds of functions are differentiable. Okay, that, that would be the subject of another video. Okay, so this blue box expression down here is a partial differential equation, or P D E and it basically is just like any other equation it has an equal sign and it has some partial derivatives in it and you know you combine these in some way and we say that the, this left hand side must equal zero okay so how do we actually do what the question is asking is show that big F satisfies the partial differential equation given by this Okay, well we need to compute this derivative, we need to compute this derivative and then work out the left hand side and show that it's equal to the right hand side, zero. Alright, so how do we do it? Well I'm going to um, apply the chain rule and what I'm going to do is let what's in the brackets here be an intermediate variable which I'm going to denote by u. So big F is a function of, uh, uh, little f is a function of u, and u depends on x and y. Now there are lots of variations of the chain rule. So let me give you the simple and easy way of deriving the chain rule for any complicated case. All right, and it basically it involves drawing a little diagram and um, emphasizing the dependence of the derivatives. All right, so let, let's start off here. Big F equals little f. Little f depends on this intermediate variable u. So I'm going to draw a little link with a u there, okay? All right, u depends on two things. Use everything in this bracket. It depends on x and y. So I'm going to draw another branch that splits to show the dependency of x and y. Okay, so from this expression, believe it or not, this simple little little diagram, I can derive the chain rule. 
Okay, suppose I wanted to compute df dx. Okay. Okay, well, I start at the top and I look for x's down the bottom. And I work out a path from the top to the bottom. Oh, hang on, let me just restart my document camera and share that again. Okay. Oh, okay, let me just start again. Okay, document camera just froze up. Let's see if we can share that screen again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just give me a sec. All right, there we go. We're back. Okay, so suppose I wanted to calculate d big f dx, go down all the paths leading to an x. When I go from letter to letter, I form a derivative. So df du times du dx. Okay, so you notice here I've got some straight d's there and some curly d's. Why? Because f depends on one variable, so the regular derivative's fine, and u depends on two variables. So it makes sense to think about partial derivatives there. Okay, so how do we actually compute this? Well, df du, we don't know, if we go back up here, we don't know what f is. It's arbitrary and, and differentiable. So we can't simplify this anymore. So all I'm going to do is just denote it by f dash. And du dx, well, if u equals 2x plus y squared, what's du dx going to be? Well, you imagine y is a constant and you partially differentiate everything in this bracket with respect to x. So that'll be 0 and that'll go to 2. Okay, and there we have it down there. All right, suppose I wanted to compute df dy. This is d big f dy. All right, so same thing. Here we're differentiating with respect to y. Find all the paths to a y from the top to the bottom. When you go from letter to letter, you form a derivative. So it's d little f du times du dy. And again, we would have straight d's on this one because f depends on one thing, u. And we would have curly d's on the next one because u depends on two things, okay, uh, x and y. Okay, so we don't know what this is. Let's just write it as f dash to save a bit of space. Little f dash, du dy. Well, let's go up here. u equals 2x plus y squared. So differentiate everything in here with respect to y by holding the x is fixed. So that'll go to 0. That'll become 2y. Okay, so du dy is going to be 2y. Okay, so how do we actually solve the problem? Let's take our derivatives, put them into the left-hand side of, of this along with y, and then hopefully things will add up to be 0. So, so let's see if we can do that. We've calculated our derivatives. Let's, see. Let, let's work with that left-hand side and um, see how we go. So LHS stands for left-hand side. All right, so let's work out what we have here. We know that the big F dx is that, and d big F dy is that. So let's keep keep that going. So it's going to be 2 times f dash minus f dash times 2y. Now, if you look carefully at these two things, they're the same. So they will cancel off. 
and you'll be left with zero. And that is the right hand side. Hence, the left hand side and the right hand side are equal and we conclude that any differentiable function of this form where little f is, is differentiable will satisfy this equation. Okay, so let's just make a conclusion. Hence star holds and f is a solution. Okay, so for these kinds of problems, the the ideas are pretty much the same. You're given some uh, function here. Here we didn't know what little f was, but it didn't matter. All we need to know was that we could apply the chain rule, and you're given some partial differential equation. Show that that this partial differential equation holds. Okay, now. Partial differential equations arise in all sorts of modelling and, and um, important physical phenomena. And usually you, you, you don't have this information. So you're given some problem and you're asked to find a solution. Here it's a, even simpler because you're given a, a form of solution. Okay, so that's a little bit about the chain rule. Uh, I hope you found this, this um, presentation enjoyable and useful. If you have any comments on the larger font and mobile devices, then I'd love to hear them. And please join me again for another live presentation where I'll do more examples. So I'll see you soon. Bye.